Hello people that know how's it doing, sorry about that, and today we're doing a Q&A, um, forgive me I am a bit tired, um, I was doing a lot of work today so forgive me that I was sounding a bit, you know, like not taken I suppose a bit, because you know this has been a very tired one day and there's a lot of questions to get through so please just forgive me if I do sound very tired. So the first question, are you getting on with any ladies lately? Well... I have a story to tell you. Um, well, 50 50, let's put it that way. 50 50. Um, that's the best answer I can give you. Um, should we use the aqua historical flag of Alpha Owl instead of the tricolor? Now, I was debating this in my head a few months ago, actually. I was like, should we change, you know, from the tricolor? Should we? And, you know, I had a huge time, I was thinking about this for about a month in my head, this is a few months ago. And, I was, you know, I was debating in my head, I didn't debate it on the video, but I was debating, you know, should we change the tricolour? And, you know, I think the tricolour, we were blessed to have a beautiful flag. It, obviously, the tricolour is very, very beautiful. Ireland's, um, I have anything to do with Ireland's beautiful anyway. So, you know, I think we should keep the tricolour. I think any flag that represents Ireland, no matter what it is, it's... It's a beautiful flag, and should be any should like Ireland should have many other flags um as its national flag, but you know the tricolor, you know the whole lot the whole every flag that represents Ireland is beautiful, um, so I don't think there's really any need to change the tricolor, yeah, where you could, you know people can vary with that, but you know I think there's no need to be just so this next question thoughts on gays, um. You know, I I believe that the state, like I came up with this a long time ago, um, like I don't like I have like people entitled to be who they want to be, and as simple as that. That's the way I, you know, deem you know life and to deem everything. Like people can be their own person. Nobody should interfere with their who they want to be or who they want to be with or and then if they really love each other, you know, you know, there's nothing that can stop them. There's no nobody can stop them, um, and they're free to do whatever they want, and it's all about freedom too. They have the freedom to choose who they want to be with, and you know it's totally like I'm totally forward like all that. So the next question: Are you dating any lassies? Lassies? Oh, the dog lassies, film lassie. Oh, great film lassie. Um, actually, I had to talk about that in one of my videos. I've actually just remembered that now, lassie, the film, um, about a lassie dog. It was great. It was a great film. I loved it when I was a child. Um, obviously YouTube copyright, you wouldn't be able to show it in this, but. Um, it was a great film. <laughs> it was a good. I don't know why. I know what you mean, but um, possibly, possibly. I'm not gonna say yes or no, at the moment. The fu the future's always around the corner. Um, you never know. <laughs> Super sad. Um, if you I'm uh, sorry, just to get this one up on my phone. Um, the majority of these came from Discord. So this comes from some fellow I know. If you become a dictator, let's say Leo and Simon and Mike had just died and you took over, what would you what would be your policies and laws? First of all, first of all, um I'd be I I wouldn't become a dictator, I would try and be elected. Like let's be honest, I wouldn't want to go to the people around and be like, I'm gonna take over and you just can't say anything about it. I would want to be elected, what go to the people. That's what I would do for us, we'll go to the people and say to the people, would you want me or would you want somebody else? Um, what I, if I did get in, I would, you know, put a huge amount of policies, I'd put a huge public works policy in, actually. Huge um, public work thing, like try and get more people, um, you know, to do stuff, to get up and do stuff, and people off, um, you know, trying to get things done, I suppose you could say, do huge public works spending, I suppose you could kind of say that. Um, you know, build more motorways, build more social house and things like that. I would go, you know, I would be very strict laws, like illegal dump and anything like that. I would, you know, would be the world, like I want to be the most terrifying country to do that in. If I became, you know, if I became personal t shirt, like you know, you wouldn't ever, you wouldn't ever illegal dump and now and again because you'd be locked up and thrown away. Um, but it's, you know, I would be, but the one thing I would be, and I would have to say this, I would be very fair with every policy I have. I would never, you know, want to benefit my own pocket, if you know what I'm saying. If it's less, it's going to benefit the people, and they're going to benefit the wider communities and the wider cities and the wider towns. It's not, I don't care, it won't, I really wouldn't be too bothered about would it benefit my bank account. Like, you know, that's something I wouldn't, you know, be too bothered with. Um, 
but you know, I would, you know, you never know. The future is always ahead. But um, you know, I would want to be elected first. Um. So next question, uh, pagan statues that Catholic churches use. So I suppose you mean what I think of them, um, you know, I, I think the, you know, I think pagan statues are. Good, I suppose a good symbol. In other words, a good symbol for some people. For some people, that are good a symbol. I don't really know what to say. Like it's a symbol, <laughs> symbol. It's just a symbol. Um. But yeah, I think it's a good symbol for some people. I know two or three people who, you know, there's pagan statues and they take the, you know, some weird thing going on with them, but I don't know. Um, so the next question comes from Ghost of Gods. Uh, Israel or Palestine? Yeah, so this is going to be very controversial now. Um, so I have to say Palestine. And I said this many times. Um, I don't like his way. I don't like. I don't like the government in this way. I don't. I don't mind anybody ending else, but his way. I just don't like the government. Um. Obviously, there's something going on very fishy with the United States. His way is very, very close to the United States. Um. And obviously, they they're doing human rights offences and they're killing innocent civilians and they're causing trouble. Um. And obviously, Palestine's just a state that wants to break free. Um. So you know, I know Sinn Fein. The the nationalist so so called nationalist party of Ireland, um, not their nationalist party, their so called nationalist party Sinn Fein, um, a huge supporters of Palestine. I don't know why, but the one that we just wanted someday to just support Palestine. For no, I don't know why, um, don't ask me why, but, you know, I would in you know, out of the two of them would support Palestine. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's all. That's all the questions. Um, I know I sound a bit, you know, tired. I do sound very tired. I can hear, I can see by looking at me, I am very tired. And I can tell by my voice that I am very tired. And, you know, just very, I suppose, you know, what in the West, I suppose you could say that way. Um, so my apologies if I do not sound, you know, myself. It's just because I'm very tired. I was up very early the last two mornings. And, you know, it's just a lot of work put on me this last few weeks. Um, so, you know, I hope I asked everybody's question. Um, anyway, take a watch and subscribe for more, and bye.